so we have completed this session completely only the leftover thing is that if you want to visualize your decision tree then there are few libraries that you can use we have already discussed about them when we were discussing about linear uh, decision tree regression but let's uh, execute them for our classification model so for that let's name this as visualize this section as visualize and let's create out some new cells now so we had the library uh, from the sklearn library we had the module tree so from sklearn import tree let's execute everything is just fine let's first get the text representation so we had let's name this as text rep is equal to tree dot export so export text that's how you can just visualize it and over here you have just mentioned ds3 uh, that is our model that's it let's print text rep so from here we have known that when the feature 3 is less than 0.75 okay 0.75 it belongs to class 0 so if you just visualize everything so let's take uh, this it's let's take this oops uh, where is a yeah i'll take this code paste it out over here and then check it out so when our feature 3 what is our feature 3 if sepal length was the first second third petal length will be our third one so petal length so let's compare with petal length petal length whenever it's less than 0.75 okay so yeah 0.75 that is below one okay it is always uh our class zero so yeah that is just fine again if feature 3 is greater than uh 0.75 feature 3 is less than 1.65 so greater than 0.75 and less than 1.65 okay so somewhere in the middle part is somewhere in the middle part and the feature 2 is less than 4.95 so we yeah, are almost in the middle so it will be in class 1 so that is again absolutely fine and if you see the if the feature 3 is greater than 1.65 feature 3 what was our feature 3 feature 3 was uh, again petal length petal length is if it's greater than this and feature 2 is less than the 4.85 okay that is again the topmost one Okay, so we will be getting class 2 so yeah you can visualize everything now uh, you might find that this is quite hard to read as this is a text representation if you are just okay with this just use this but if you want it in a more of a uh, GUI based version then we have plot tree also so what I will do is I will create an empty space first so I'll just name ig is equal to plot dot figure something similar we have done back in the regression part 2520 so yeah see the empty space over here now let's uh, keep it blank and let's do tree dot plot tree okay there's a typo let's look what all things we need so we need our algorithm and there are max rep feature names okay so feature names are there class names are there okay we need to mention these two things which are none right now and also let's make field equals to two so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy all of these paste it out over here and what i'm going to do is in terms of feature names what i'm going to do is i had my uh, data data dot feature names Oops. let's check it out what exactly was data dot feature names so we have the feature names over here and the next thing is what we need are the uh, class names so for class name i have the target name okay whatever the target names are okay so let's check my target names data dot target names okay these were the target names so let's copy it out okay and paste it out over here and let's check it out 
so uh something that i'm missing is uh feature name ds3 false okay <laughs> the main thing that i have forgotten out is ds3 yeah uh let's do field equals to true hmm this gives me a better picture about it so when the petal width is less than 0 0.75 okay the genie is this sample is this class the class is virginica okay and that's how one by one it goes okay if it is less than this then it will move over here greater than this then it will move over here so okay that's how you can read it and that's how you can visualize it and i think the lowest class was setosa okay so for setosa you see, if you see it is uh, quite simple if the petal width is less than that and then it will be setosa only okay petal width is greater than this and less than 0 0.65 then it is virginis here and more uh, if you go deeper and deeper we will get a more about it no more about it okay so these are the three classes and the purple one is for virginica setosa is the orange one and green for green uh, the versi color is for the green one. okay so that's how you can visualize your decision tree and this gives me a lot of insights about our data you see that petal width is one of the most important that is in the node one in the node uh, in the node sample we have petal width as the first one okay when we solve out the algorithm manually you could see that we needed the first node so this is the first node that is petal width then by go going lower and lower we have petal length over here then petal uh, width petal uh, sepal width okay so these things are very necessary and visualization usually gives us a better picture so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the complete decision tree series in the next uh, section we are going to start with random forest okay so let's catch up up in the next uh, section